All right. Hey, uh, eighth grade. So we are going to keep moving forward with this flash uh, conversation uh, as we go. So we did anatomy uh, like a week or so ago. And uh, so now we're going to talk about some other stuff that follows in the same line. So a uh, quick introduction. Um, first of all, today we're going to talk about uh, identities. And I think this is a really cool conversation to have. We'll talk a little bit about sexual orientation as well. But I think one of the things that we need to identify is that everybody has an identity. And uh, this is a really important thing. So when you look at this um, idea behind identities, one of the things that I want you to think about is this. So if you think about your identity, it refers to a sense of who you are as an individual. Um, and what part of, what kind of groups are you part of? So think about any sort of group. Think about gender. Think about race. Think about nationality. You can talk about orientation. You can talk about your family space. Uh, talk about your religion. Uh, you can talk about a lot of different things. And so uh, sometimes I think when we talk about this, we think that identity is specifically about something sexual or whatever. That's really not what this is. And it's important to acknowledge that. Um, so one of the things I'm going to ask you to do is going to be a little form that comes out to you here uh, through Google Classroom, and that is uh, to name what you think are your three most important identities. Um, and these are, I, I think, really, really important. And uh, we'll keep this anonymous, but I'm going to ask you to create uh, what your identities might be. Um, and from that, then we'll kind of get a feeling for what we have as a group, because I think we've got some great identities. So you can see some examples here. We got, um, you know, male, female, we got brother, sister, we got religion, we got, I'm a gamer, I'm a, uh, you know, I'm a rapper, I'm a, I just like to hang out, that's my identity. And so uh, you can kind of decide what that is. So uh, you'll need to click over into the Google Classroom link uh, that's attached to this in order to get that. Um, uh, the other question I might have for you is, is the identity that you have um, the same now as it was when you were younger? And uh, do we continuously change identities throughout? And I think that's super important. So uh, next piece in this is what are we going to do for the rest of the lesson? So at, when we're done here, uh, we're going to differentiate between uh, gender identity and sexual orientation. Uh, understand that everybody has those things. Uh, secondly, we're going to communicate respectfully. And this is really important in this topic is that uh, respect garnered to other people, no matter what, um, you know, if they, if their identity matches yours or not. And, uh, it's probably one of the biggest kind of hot button issues, um, with the exception of this illness stuff is, uh, how do we treat each other based on their identity? And I can't stress this enough to you that whether you agree or disagree with someone's identity, uh, we need to accept people for people. And uh, it's a big message you're going to hear from me, and there'll probably be another video built into this as well. But I really, really, really want you to understand that differences are, are real, uh, people's differences are real, and we need to be able to accept people's differences, even if they don't match ours, or even if they go against maybe what our beliefs are. Um, because we're not talking about the person we're talking about their identity and people are good and we want to make sure we don't hurt people based on what their identity is the last piece in here is to explain why we think it's important to feel uh pride in our identities oops sorry um and uh and really really get this idea that says how do we feel pride in ourselves. And uh, once you get that, uh, good things happen. So um, throughout this lesson, as you click through, you'll notice there's some links. You'll also notice that there are uh, a few things in the Google Classroom link that are all titled Lesson 2. Um, and those are things for you to do along the way. So this is the first step in the process. Uh, we'll get used to this as we go. Uh, hope you guys are well. Uh, I miss you guys. So we'll talk soon. Bye.